This is King Noble, Black Supremacy. And with this particular video, I want to talk about Trump preparing to execute more blacks. Now, a lot of people will say, you're race baiting. How could you make a statement like that? How could you come up with a statement like that? Trump preparing the government to kill more blacks? Well, Trump recently wants to issue a death penalty or the death sentence for dope dealers, drug dealers, people that sell drugs. Now, what were we doing to drug dealers before the death penalty conversation? Well, we was locking them up in jail. The prison industrial complex. Now, what's the largest percentage of the population of people in jail in the United States of America? They're black. What's the largest percentage of people locked up for drug offenses in the United States of America? They're black. So if Trump wants to issue the death penalty to kill drug dealers, who is predominantly going to be a large percentage of the people that get murdered? Black, who's the most disenfranchised in this country, more poverty, lack of resources, urban undeveloped neighborhoods. So if he wants to issue the death penalty for drug dealers, he's indirectly issuing a death penalty for more black people, executing and killing more black people. Now, the government is a cold word for white imperialism. The government maintains all the codes systematically that enforce racism, white supremacy, that enforces white imperialism. That's what the government does. People say, well, racism is over with. Things have changed. They're not hanging people anymore. They're not doing this because now it's encoded within the matrix, within the government. The penal system now has become the new face of slavery. It is more institutionalized oppression. So they hide their agenda to attack blacks under the government policy. It's, it's hidden. The government is a white imperialist, white supremacist institution. Now, of course, a few white people get caught up in the mix for being at the wrong place at the wrong time. They make examples out of a few white people. But ultimately, who gets attacked most? Now, I'm against selling drugs. I mean, I'm probably against drugs more than Donald Trump is because I grew up in a neighborhood where I watch how detrimental drugs are to your community. And how they are slow death. Like drugs itself is a slow death sentence for many. So no one could be more against drugs and dope dealers than me. But I don't agree with the death penalty though. all. For one, now you have more of an excuse to kill somebody. You know like the cops or police playing drugs on people. Well now if they plan the wrong amount of drugs on you, you can get a death sentence. So now, you could get set up. We used to get set up and have to do a little jail time. Now they could set your ass up to be murdered. So that's giving more power to the police, to dirty and corrupt cops, to be able to set people up and get them completely and totally taken outside of the game. Once again, more black people being murdered, more black people being killed. Now it creates a more volatile and dangerous situation in America. Because if people selling drugs know that you're possibly going to get killed for selling drugs, you're going to be more likely wanting to kill over selling drugs. When the police come to get you, you're going to be more ready to shoot back and kill them. You're not going to receive no death sentence. So now that leads to militarizing the police. The police becoming more militarized. Because the drug dealers are going to get more militarized. The drugs are going to become like the drug dealers are going to become like rebel armies and military uh, encampments if they would decide to sell drugs under those conditions. But what what is this unnecessary or this this what is this extreme extra military 
security, how is that going to affect the rest of the community? How is, how is that over-militarization going to affect the rest of the community where these drugs are being distributed at? So now we, we are moving more towards a military, more militarized government and more of a police state under the auspices of fighting dope dealers and fighting against drugs. So you got to see through what they're doing. They only try to give it to you one angle and they want you to feel sorry for the people who've overdosed on drugs and how people's family has been affected on drugs and they get you caught up looking at that angle but they don't let you see the, the entire cause and effects the entire implication or consequences of legalizing the death penalty for a drug dealer they don't want you to see the entirety of the consequences of that and it will it, it will amount in more black death guaranteed and more of a militarized police force more hostile and volatile situations between drug dealers and, and drug enforcement officers. So it's not going to be better in the end. And instead of that little small percentage of black people who's in jail that weren't selling drugs and those that are in there for drug cases that are the majority of people in the jail, those will be getting executed. So when you look at these laws, don't think you just an average American citizen or you just the average person uh, looking critically at the laws. Don't just look at it like that. Look at it from how it's specifically going to affect those whom the laws have been abused on. Who the laws are enforced in a way that oppress, suppress certain nationalities and ethnicities and destroy the lives of certain communities, the enforcement of these laws. So whenever they turn up their laws, they're turning up their oppression. That's a fact. They're turning up their oppression. So no, I don't think drug dealers should receive the death penalty. Not at all. I think the pharmaceutical drug dealers should receive the death penalty. I think those with, that are within the ph pharmaceutical industry need to die for what they're doing. And, how, and, and those that are distri distributing and manufacturing the drugs and, and, bring, and bringing them to the dope dealers, those are the ones that should be murdered. But no, 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 no. The death penalty is another excuse to start murdering and carry, killing blacks in our neighborhoods and in our communities. They don't even have to use police brutality anymore. They can just plant drugs on you. Or just the fact that you got drugs now means that you, you literally deserve to die. Based on he who controls the power in life and death and the ultimate judge of the world, the white man, Donald Trump. He's the judge and jury and executioner of all human souls. Make that type of decision. This is King Noble Black Supremacy. Join my website, www kingnobleuncensored.com Donate and don't hate.